Prince of Wales, who is representing His Majesty, shakes hands with the Warrington team, who play in light jerseys. The other rugby league finalists, Huddersfield, playing in darker jerseys, are then introduced to His Royal Highness. Huddersfield kick off against the wind, but Warrington, who are favourites, immediately begin to press. In fact, for the first 20 minutes, the Lancashire team keep the ball in the Yorkshireman's half without managing to score. On the other hand, when Huddersfield do succeed in crossing the halfway line, they are at once successful. Balkett, their captain, scores a penalty goal with a great place kick. This game has many differences from the Rugby Union Code, one being that a tackle player is allowed to regain his feet and drop the ball into play. Warrington make great efforts and a brilliant cut through by Dingsdale results in a try. Which is easily converted by holding the fullback. Half-time sees the teams taking the field with Warrington leading 10-9. But in the Dow struggle which follows, Huddersfield go rapidly ahead again. Mills, the right winger, scores a try on the corner flag to the delight of all Yorkshire at Wembley. And Balkett, who never misses a place kick in the course of the match, converts again. The Prince of Wales, while waiting to present the cup, enjoys a laugh with Lord Derby. And Balkett, whose place kicking has been the feature of the cup final, receives the trophy on behalf of Huddersfield, victors by 21 points to 17. Well, folks, it's been a good game, and I think the best teams won.